This is super, super important and I want all of you to listen up to this. This is Amin, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day so far. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Diana and I talk all about my life as an expat who lives and works in Berlin, Germany. I talk about the German culture, how to find a job here, how to move here, all of that good stuff. And for today, I actually wanna talk about how you can increase your chances of finding a job in Germany. I got a ton of questions about this and there is one key thing that I wanna talk about today that I think will make a huge, huge difference when it comes to your job search. So I'm very excited to share it with you. But before we do jump into that, I do want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Blinkist. If you guys have not heard of Blinkist before, I'm also very excited to share this with you because I think you're gonna find it super helpful and super beneficial. But Blinkist is an app that actually summarizes thousands and thousands of nonfiction books and it summarizes it to 15 minutes. So you can either read it or go ahead and listen to it and all it takes is 15 minutes for you to get the key insights, the key knowledge, the key findings from these nonfiction books, which I think is super cool because if you're like me, you know, you probably always have a list of books that you say you're gonna get to one day and you don't always have the time to sit down and read for hours and hours. So I actually wanna take you guys into the app and show you some of my favorite titles that are on Blinkist. Um, that I highly recommend some of my favorite, favorite books that have just been summarized into 15 minutes, which is super awesome. I have three in my library that I'm just re-listening to right now. The first one is by Seth Godin, which is an incredible book. It's called Lynchpin, and you can either read the 15 minute summary or listen to it, which is really cool if you're like me and you commute. Um, and I'm just re-listening to this one as well. And pretty much it talks about how you can become an indispensable person at work. Someone that is so vital to the company that they wouldn't even think of firing you or getting rid of you because you bring so much value, which I think is super important. This one has made such a big impact in my career and also in the career of my boyfriend, Josh. We both absolutely love Lynchpin. Another one, which is one of my favorites, oh, that's just the summary I was reading, <laughs> but um, it's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This one is a classic. It's like one of the most popular titles in the world and I think the title is quite self-explanatory, but it's super awesome, especially if you are moving to a new country because it will make it so much easier for you to make connections with people once you learn the key insights from this book. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. And then finally, we have The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. This one's another one of my favorites. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you've probably heard me mention this before because it's all about overcoming resistance, going to the next level, pushing yourself, and just becoming a better version of yourself and just going after that full potential. This one's super inspirational and I'm definitely going to re-listen to this when I need an extra boost of motivation. So yeah, those are the three titles that I wanted to recommend to you. And because Blinkist is partnering with me for today, they are offering the first 100 of you who click on my link below access to Blinkist for a full week so that you can read or listen to all of these titles and many more that they do have. So that's super awesome. And if you do wanna continue with the membership afterwards, they are offering an additional 25% off, which is also super cool. Um, so yeah, make sure to click on the link below. It will be in the description and there's no commitment. The trial is you know, completely free for seven days. You can cancel at any time. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Blinkist for partnering with me. And I do hope that all of you take advantage of this. So again, links will be in the description. Yeah, now let's jump into today's video. And like I said, I wanted to talk about how you can increase your chances of finding a job in Germany and getting noticed by German employers. 
This is super, super important and I want all of you to listen up to this because I think it's something that gets overlooked so many times. I know this because I have friends who work in HR and they say that people put so little effort into this and I know that when I made the effort when it came to this, which I will get to in a sec, it made such a huge impact and I got so many more responses. And what I'm talking about is your cover letter. So many people place a huge importance when they're applying to their CV. You know, they wanna make sure that they have the right picture. You know, their picture looks good. Their layout is good for their CV. The color is nice. You know, they go way beyond to make it look all fancy, but then they put such minimal effort into their cover letter. And if you guys don't know what a cover letter is, it's pretty much a summary or a letter of intent which you hand in with your CV and it pretty much summarizes why you are fit for the position because a CV is just very general, you know, it has all of your qualifications, but it's not personal at all. So in your cover letter, you have that opportunity to make it more personable. You can, of course, give a brief summary of your description, but you can also add something a little extra that's gonna make you stand out from you know the thousands and thousands of people who may be applying to just that one job. And I hope I'm not covering the mic, it's right here, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope that it's not making too much noise with my hair bane of my existence, this mic and the hair situation, but I hope you guys are okay. So I did want to give you guys some quick tips on how you can actually go ahead and build out a way stronger cover letter that's going to make you stand out. And the first thing, of course, is with the summary of your experience and qualifications. So of course, you do want to mention this obviously, but what you don't want to do is go ahead and actually list out a huge summary of all of your experience. You want to go ahead and just condense this into maybe a paragraph. And a good way to do this is to actually take a look at the job description and see the keywords that are in the job description and try to match that to your actual summary in your cover letter. So what I mean by this is, for instance, if you're applying for a job as a back-end developer or front-end developer, whatever it may be, a developer, let's say. Maybe the job description says looking for front-end developer with experience in SQL, JavaScript, and HTML. Let's say that's the three things that you're looking for. Then, of course, you want to mention in your summary that you have experience with JavaScript, SQL, and HTML, let's say. So of course, enter that. And the reason why is because a lot of the times recruiters are just quickly looking for those keywords to stand out. And if they see it, then they're gonna start paying more attention to your cover letter and hopefully also take a look into your CV and then give you a call if you are a strong match. So again, be quite mindful with what you put into the summary of the qualifications and pay attention very closely to what the job description is looking for. Another key thing is that you want to, again, make this more personable. This is a chance for you to stand out. Talk about not just you know, your experiences in school or in work, but also how are you going to be a good fit for the company? How do you align with the company values and why are you even interested in the company that you're applying for? Companies really love it when people go that extra step and they actually learn about the company that they're applying to. So a key thing here is you have to make sure that before you apply to a job and submit your cover letter and your CV, that you go to the company's website and actually take a look to see what the company is about, what their company values are, and actually try to incorporate that into your cover letter. You know, let them know why this company stood out to you and why you would want to work for them 
What is it about their values that you really admire that you think would be not just beneficial for you to be part of, but how you can bring value to them as well and how you would be a great fit. What you could also do is even go to the company's LinkedIn and see if any of their employees have written any articles. And you can mention that article and be like, I saw this article by so-and-so, I thought it was really amazing and it made me think, you know what, I could really work with somebody like that and um, I think I would be a great member of that team as well. Say something like that, you know, something that makes it seem like you're not just looking for any other job and just sending thousands and thousands of CVs, but you are genuinely interested in the company. So of course you have to be genuine here. Don't just make up stuff and say that you care about it because if you do get that call for that interview, you want to know what you're talking about and it's going to show if it's not genuine, but definitely take advantage of all of the resources. Take advantage of the social media platforms that they might have to actually learn about the company and incorporate that into your cover letter. I think that's something that gets overlooked a ton and you will be surprised how much companies spend building out the values for the company and for the whole team to actually take on. It's something that is so important, especially in a lot of startups as well. Company values are so key and if they see that you've taken the time to notice their company values, talk about it, then I guarantee you it will make you stand out so much more than just, you know, whoever sent out the same cover letter, the same CV to a thousand companies. Recruiters will be able to quickly pinpoint who that is. They are experts in this and they will know who's made the effort and who hasn't. And then the last tip that I wanted to give you is if you have any hobbies, definitely make sure to incorporate that. Now again, you don't want to make this super, super long, but do make an effort to talk about any of the hobbies that you have. Now I'm not talking about, you know, writing that you love to play basketball on the weekends or go out partying or watch Netflix. Those are definitely not what I'm referring to. But let's say you have a creative hobby, like you're a photographer or you like to paint or you're a writer or you do freelance writing for a blog, whatever it may be, incorporate that if you do have it. Again, it's not essential, but it's all about writing things that are gonna stand out to the recruiter, to the employer, to make you seem more unique. And it's also really cool if you do include hobbies because it makes it seem like you're much more of a well-rounded person, um, you're more outgoing, um, you, you, know, you enjoy life besides work, you appreciate a work-life balance, and you'd be surprised. For employers, that could be really, really interesting and it could even get their wheels turning or wheel spinning, however you may say it, and they might start to think about ways that they can incorporate your hobbies into their work as well. So for instance, if you're a photographer, maybe they'll think, oh, that's cool. If, if we have company events, maybe he can do some photography for us or she can do photography for us, whatever it may be. You never know how these types of things that you do can come into play in your work later on. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about today. I hope that you guys found this helpful and I hope that you do put these tips into practice. If you do, definitely let me know in the comments or go over to my Instagram and send me a message there. I absolutely love interacting with all of you guys and learning about your stories and where, where you're coming from and just getting to know you. I absolutely love it. So please, please let me know. And I'm excited to hear all about your journey Journey. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to take advantage of Blinkist special offer. Again, I will leave the link down below and thank you to Blinkist for partnering with me on this video. That's pretty much all you guys. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you all next week. Tschüss.